Hi pals, welcome to my channel from Skint to Savvy. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning, watching another video. I uh, really, really appreciate it. I would love it if you could just put a wee comment, let me know you've been, um, and I can say thank you in person. If you are new to this channel, if you've watched a few videos and haven't subscribed yet, would really appreciate it if you could subscribe however if you can or don't feel like you can just give me a wee like or a, a wee comment or you can message me on instagram if you want to dm me or i'm also on tiktok under the same name from skint to savvy um but yeah let's get into it so today as always using the budget mum by uh, budget by paycheck workbook by the budget mum um i'm glad i'm never drinking when i try and say that because I don't think I could. But what we're going to do today is just, um, I've done some spending, so I just want to make sure that it is a, what's the word? That I've checked it, that it's in here, that everything's right where it should be uh, to make it easier for me at the end of the week when I am finalising my week. And also because it'll be the end of the month when I finalise my month. My month will end on Sunday the 27th because I get paid. I'll actually get paid on the Friday, but I won't touch that money till the Monday, but I'll just, my week will go from the 28th of March, uh, 20th of February to the 27th of March. That'll be my month, although I budget and weekly, I get paid monthly. So we're just going to check that we have everything in here. So this is my month overview. Uh, on it, I've just got everything that I've been spending money on. Um, and I highlight it just for prettiness, really, I don't need to. But I've also got down here, if you can see, things that I need it to be prepared for for next month. So let's zoom you in so you can have a wee look. Um, obviously, at the start of my month, I had my birthday week, which was a holiday week for me, and I had things on, so I had to make sure I had pennies for that. Valentine's, obviously, you need to get the other half something. Make them feel loved the one time in the year. <laughs> um, I also had my girls' weekend away there, which was brilliant. And I'll also have a birthday at the start of March, so I needed to prepare for that. And obviously going into March, I will have um, Mother's Day and another birthday to make sure I have money for. So, this is my notes, don't need them right this second. Today, I have bought something out of my um, budget category. However, it is been bought on my card so I'll need to take that money out of the cash wallet. I also bought a gift again online um, so I'll need to put that money back into the bank. I also topped up my um, my grocery budget which was £40 and the dog by budget which again was ten pound um i'm doing it in budget because i've not spent it yet i'll spend it at the end of the week i will do my shopping on a sunday but i took it out of the bank so i want to make sure that i account for it um in here i, I will highlight them but i can highlight them later and my netflix has come out as well so that is pretty much it for today i paid my rent on a sunday should have really paid it on friday but i paid it anyway and I had a no spend on the 19th, so that's pretty good. Let's get into the actual budget, which is here. So let's just get our rollover amount right, which is what we did on the last budget. So 105053. And we're going to add in, I'm going to Let's do this bit first and then we'll go back up to here. So I bought something for my budget category. And I did that today. And I didn't budget for it originally, but it is um, £12.06. What I actually bought was a tripod. I found a camera with a video facility. Um, I found it. That sounds terrible, but one of my purchases that I forget I buy because I buy so much or I used to buy so much before I was more in control of my money um, so I'm going to start using that for doing these videos instead of my phone and then that way I can use my phone to show you my hyperjar accounts and things like that um, so I bought a tripod for that and hopefully it'll fit and I also bought a gift so that this is basically the pretty much the whole birthday present for the first of birthday of March 
so that has been bought and paid for so i didn't put it in that budget but it has been purchased so now i can relax i'm all sorted i just need to buy a card um my netflix has also come out so that's 5.99 so there was i'm going to take because i budget in notes and i'm going to take them out of my cash binders so i'm going to take 50 pound out of my birthdays to put back into the bank so 20 let's take all out. So that 10 20 30 40 50 so that leaves me with 35 still in the birthdays so that'll be great it's actually gifts i need to change that label and um, that'll be great for Oh, that was a bit close. Um, Mother's Day, and then the end of the, the other birthdays at the end of the month, so that's grand. So we're going to take that fifty out for that, and then we're going to take fifteen out of my budgeting category, which is just here, which will leave me with five pound. So I'm going to put that back into the bank, but because I don't have the change for these, because they're all in notes, I'm going to take the two pound ninety four. Let's zoom you in. The two pound ninety four left from this fifteen, and the two pound fifty four left from this the forty seven forty six out of the fifty. I'm going to actually put it in here, and because I got a. Uh, I wasn't doing the penny challenge, but because I got that as a free gift from Fuchsia Budgets, which was so nice of her, I'm going to pop it into, take an idea from her and open a hyper jar, a pot, and then I will put that money into the hyper jar pot, as well as having a cash pot for change. Because I was thinking, I no point in me doing the penny challenge because I don't actually work. I don't usually get an awful lot of pennies because I'm not spending an awful lot of cash. So, but yeah, taking an idea from future budgets, so that'll be a uh, nine two ninety four plus two fifty four. So I'll put this into a penny challenge. And I haven't budgeted for it, but I will put in the five pound forty eight into hyper jar and a pot. So. That will account for me now adding £65 into my budget for the sinking funds. So I've taken my sinking funds. So obviously my budget envelope and my gifts envelope. I've taken £65 out. £20, and that will go back to bank. So the £65 will now cover this £12.6, this £47.46, and also the £5.48. And that will cover that in my budget. And it's, so it's used money that I've already got. But because I can't just spend this rollover money and take this money, it'll just make things confusing. So if I add the sinking funds in, that is covered. So it zeroes itself out the 65 pound then it's spent here i hope that makes sense i'm not going to close out this budget because obviously we're only on the first day of this this week's budget however um i might spend more i might get some other money i might get something to put in this other um if i sell anything or um i have some money in atipol and cumi that I might cash out or I might just leave. I'm not really sure, but there, you know, we might have any other other money coming in, and I might do some more spending. So we don't want to close out this yet. Let's zoom you back out again. So now we're going to flip and just make sure that we have everything in our budget. I need to highlight these, but we can do that off camera. So this is here now. What I have spent. So my budget was the £12.6, my gift was the 47 46 my bill for Netflix came out, 
but I'm also going to do this savings challenge. The penny challenge. Not really sure what it's called. Is it just the penny challenge? So that will be savings. And that will be £5.48 because obviously this is going to come out of my bank. So I need to account for it coming out of my bank. Um, and I will need to put the £65 into my bank. However, it might be easier just to not put it in and then just not take that cash out when I do my cash stuffing for the first week of March. So I'll think on that. But that I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So my ending balance that was in my bank at the end on Sunday, just passed, was 65953. Let's put this in here. So 65953. See that? 659.53 minus £12.06. So that took my bank to 647.47 and then I took 47.46 out of the bank which left it at 601. Then my bill came out at 599. So 59402. Then we have this penny no, the penny challenge isn't out yet. Let's take that away just now a minute. Just so we can get the right... I kind of got a note of what's in my bank. Sorry, you're shaking. Yeah, the camera's on a, a sugarly pig. So, of course, we then took the money out for um, the groceries. Um, so that's for the hyper jar. So that was food. So that was 40 and we also took out £10 oh my goodness what is going on here can't even spell my own dog's name so that's for Hyperjar also so that was for Piper's category so that's Ten pound put in the ticket out of there. So five nine four minus forty leaves us with five five four o oh, two minus the ten is five four four o oh, two. And if you look here, that's what's in my bank five four four o oh, two. So that is correct. But now, while I remember, I'm going to put in this pinch and pennies. Pinch and Pennies, that's the name of a YouTube channel. If you haven't already watched them, please do. She's very good, Pinch and the Pennies. A free plug for you there. Um, to the Penny Challenge. And that'll be savings. And was that £5.48, I think? I'm not going to do that yet because I haven't done it. But yeah, that is that for now. I have also tracked in my spends for the... For last week and so far for this week out of the out of my expenses i haven't put any diesel in yet i haven't put any electric in yet um so yeah so that is that so that we cover that amount there 65 and i think that is it my next uh, video will be um probably a budget for the first week of March I might do a little um, budget just to set up my month and then we'll be going into a budget for the first week of March which is crazy this this month's going so fast anyhow this might be my shortest video yet can can live in hope that I'll get shorter but yeah thanks so much for watching um as I said if you haven't already subscribed I would love it if you could and um I'm going to go off camera now and make sure that all my pretty colours are on. And we will talk to you all soon. If there's anything actually that you want me to video, anything you want me to explain in, few, in more detail about how I do it or why I do it, please just leave me a comment. Or if you want to come over to Instagram and just give me a wee DM, feel free. Um, and yeah, 
thanks for watching bye